Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to go through the assembly instructions for the doll high chair with the plate, bib, and spoon. Before we get started, make sure you're not missing any pieces or have any damaged parts. If you are, contact Badger Basket as shown in the end of the instructional video. For this high chair, different colors may vary, but remember the assembly will be the same. So let's get started. For step one, we're going to start the assembly of the high chair by getting, putting up the first side. So we're going to start with the left side, which is labeled side B. And you'll notice that there's two holes on one side. That is going to go to the inside of the high chair. And on the other side, you'll notice an indented hole up at the top. That goes to the outside. So that way you can determine what side you're looking at. So what we're going to first do is we're going to put the back on, which is labeled as part C. So this part, you'll notice that there's some screws that are on one side. We want to face that to the back so you don't see them. Now for this part, there's two holes here that align with the two holes here, but we only want to screw in the top hole. The second hole is going to be used for a later part. So let's screw in this top hole to the top hole here of the high chair. For this assembly, I'm going to be using a drill, and I'm going to have it set at a lower torque setting so I make sure I don't strip anything. But feel free to use a handheld Phillips screwdriver as well. So for the next part, we're going to be putting on the seat. And the seat is labeled as part A. And when you'll notice there's one side that's going to have this decorative edging, you're going to want that towards the front of the high chair. And on the side, there's going to be two screw holes here that will correspond with the two screw holes there. So we're going to screw both of those into place. Next, we're going to be putting on the footrest rail. This is the one that you're going to notice on the end will have a peg and a hole. Now this peg is going to go into where those two holes are on the inside. The very back one is going to be for that dowel, and the very first one is going to be where you're going to be putting in the screw. So the rounded edge is going to be facing forward. So we'll put in that dowel so it holds in place, and put the screw in on the other side and get that screwed into place. Now the last thing we're going to be putting in is the support rail. The support rail is going to go into the very bottom hole down at the very bottom of the high chair. And that one again is going to get screwed into place. And that completes step one. Step two is going to be mimicking what we did in step one. So what we're going to be doing is putting on side F, which is the right side, that should match up just like we did the first time. Remember, the two screw holes are where we're going to be going to the inside of the high chair. That larger screw hole at the top here is what is the outside of the high chair. Remember when putting this on, we're going to be screwing in all of the same spots, which means we will not be screwing in that second uh, screw hole for that chair back. So we'll just screw the top one here, the two for the seat, the one for the footrest rail, and the one for the support rail. I'm going to lay this down to make it a little bit easier. And I'm just going to lay this piece right on top, making sure that dowel gets into that hole so that it's nice and snug and I'll put all those screws in. For step three, we're gonna be attaching the tray to the high chair. 
For this part, we're going to take the tray and you're going to take these plastic spacers that are labeled as parquet. Now what you want to do is put these into the tray arms. The tray arms have a hole that these should slide right into. So we're going to put one on each side here. Once you have those plastic spacers in place, we're going to put the tray over the doll high chair. Now what you want to do is you want to get those plastic spacers to line up with that second hole that we never put a screw into. And what we're going to do is put the longer screws in there to hold that tray in place. So we'll go right through the tray arm and right into the back of the high chair. And we'll get both of those screwed in. And the last thing to do is to put on your doll plate, spoon, and bib. And we are all set. That is the assembly instructions for the doll high chair with the plate, bib, and spoon. If you have any questions for Badger Basket, please remember to contact them as shown in the end of the instructional video. Badger Basket thanks you for watching and enjoy!